Hello, I am Jocelyn Pinchow, Senior Product Manager of Power Platform and Copilot Security. And today I will be walking you through customized security, authentication, and access management for AI. In this video, we will be going through the managed security framework. Then through concrete scenarios and demos, we will dive into agentic authentication and access controls. After that, we will see the newest customizations in Security Hub. Let's dive in. Here in Microsoft, we are betting on Copilot Studio or MCS as the primary solution for agent customization and extensibility. With MCS, you can easily extend from Microsoft 365 Copilot or create operational standalone agents. No matter how much prior experience you have with developing business applications, whether you are a pro developer or a low code maker, MCS is a solution for enriching your enterprise with AI-driven solutions. Let's start by double-clicking on Managed Security. Managed Security is one of the four key offerings of the fully managed platform suite, also including managed governance, managed operations, and managed availability. The framework touches on all the pressing topics and CISO top of minds needed to ensure protections for enterprise-grade AI readiness. The first pillar, security posture management, is embodied by the new Power Platform Admin Center's Security Hub. At Ignite 2024, we also announced the general availability of the new Security Hub in the new Power Platform Admin Center experience. Security Hub serves as a single pane of glass for Power Platform administrators to easily understand and manage their business application security posture, including agents made in Microsoft Copilot Studio. It hosts a myriad of capabilities that admins can leverage to take both proactive and reactive measures to ensure utmost platform security. Security Hub is also the home of a host of rich identity and access management settings, which continue to grow. There are features like tenant isolation to prevent exfiltration through use of connectors, an assortment of network controls for inbound and outbound traffic, and numerous access and sharing settings. Let's dive into a scenario to learn about some of our newest settings. In this demo, the goal will be to create an agent to answer questions about a product line of laptops. Things to be considered in order to ensure data security include internal versus external use and authentication, preventing oversharing and scaling for future development, and customizing a security strategy for organization-specific needs. Sridhar is a Copilot Studio maker who works for Aether, an electronics hardware company. He decides to create a Copilot Studio agent to answer questions about the laptops. Here, we can see the knowledge that Sridhar added is a Word document regarding the product lineup. While Sridhar is a well-intentioned maker, he did not consider all of the security implications of his agent. He has made the agent available without requiring end-user authentication, a granular control that Copilot Studio makers have at their disposal. Let's switch to our potential risky unauthenticated user's point of view. Here, an authenticated and anonymous user is trying to interact with the agent that Sridhar built. First, the user asks some innocuous questions, starting off with what models are available from the Aetherbook. Super valid use case for this agent, and they receive a rich response. Then they follow up with a comparison of battery life. It returns information on a clear winner. But then, the anonymous user attempts to ask a more risky question and starts to inquire about upcoming product releases. And to our surprise, that agent will actually go and give them a response. That information should be not overshared. Sridhar should have required end-user authentication to ensure that the private product's roadmap remains internal information only. The responsible admins catch wind of this vulnerability and decide to act fast. They head over to the new Power Platform Admin Center and select Manage. From there, they decide to create an environment group for internal Aether business solutions, not intended for public data. They add the environment the treater was already building into that group. Then they decide to start configuring some scalable rules which will apply to that environment and future ones that get added to the group. First, they ensure that end-user authentication with Entra is required for agents. Additionally, the admins had a chat with Sridhar about best security practices, and Sridhar now understands how security is a shared responsibility. The admins decide that Sridhar's agent has incredible value for internal use and want to support him in sharing it across the organization for usage. 
but they want to ensure that he remains the sole editor. So they allow him to share the agents with viewer permissions, but they choose to deselect the ability to share editing permissions. Once all the rules are configured, they publish the rules. Back on Shredar's side, he can select settings in the Copilot Studio Maker portal and navigate to security for that specific agent. Now that the admin has configured the environment rule, when he selects authentication, the options for no authentication is grayed out. There, he is forced to select either manual or Entra ID authentication. He selects Entra and then saves. When he goes to investigate channels for publishing, he is now limited in his options to ensure authentication with Entra. Now we can circle back to the unauthenticated and anonymous user. Once again, they pry asking about the product's roadmap, but this time they are stopped by an error message since they are not signed in. Back on Shredar's side in Copilot Studio, we can see that he can choose to share the agent. We see here that he has already shared it with one person and can choose to add another. When searching and selecting another person to share with, we can see that this person will get viewer privileges, but not editor privileges as the admins have configured in PPAC. Finally, the admins decide that this would be a good environment for Sridhar to continue building business solutions in besides agents. Many of the settings they've configured so far have been Copilot Studio specific. While encouraging Sridhar to start making more apps and flows, they decide to configure one more setting to make sure that he doesn't incidentally expose business data again. So they decide to configure the block guest access setting, which will protect the other resource types, including apps and flows, from being leveraged by users who are not members of the Aether tenants. Guest access will now also be blocked by default for new environments to ensure least privileged access. After all that, the admins decide to take a look at their security score and see if there are any other security considerations that they may be missing. With a security score of 33%, it seems there's still some work to be done. They scroll down to see the active recommendations and take a look at what is left. They notice a few recommendations regarding network security and realize that this may not apply to them as Power Platform admins. Aether Electronics leverages ample network security controls from Azure. With the new dismiss feature, they can remove this IP firewall recommendation from the active suggestions. Once doing that, the admins can see the immediate improvement of their security score. They repeat this for the IP cookie binding feature, providing the rationale that they are leveraging different first-party solutions. If in the future, the admin chooses to reactivate the recommendation because they decide to change network security investments, they can easily restore the recommendation and once again see the impact to the dynamic security score. To conclude, let's quickly revisit the original considerations. The goal was to be able to create an agent to answer questions about a product's line of laptops. Considerations included internal versus external use and authentication, oversharing, scaling, and customizing a security strategy. With Security Hub's custom recommendations and the new dismiss capability, coupled with the goal-oriented nature of the security score, admins can take action proactively and reactively while meeting their organization's specific needs. Then, with granular authentication controls and fine-tuned editor versus viewer privileges, admins can feel confident knowing who can leverage what AI capabilities in their organization. With easy platform-wide protections like guest access controls, there's a simple way to ensure that organizational data remains private. Keeping your enterprise up to date with the rapidly evolving AI landscape can be a challenge, but security doesn't have to be the hardest part. With the rich, scalable identity and access management controls of managed security and the pointed guidance found in the Power Platform Admin Center, you can kickstart your AI adoption with confidence and ease. Thank you for watching and check out the description for resources to get started.